So that means there's a lot of mobs somewhere. So is this the floor I came in on? No. Oh, I came in through that little hole. Where's that little hole? There it is. Here's where I came in. I was... Okay. This needs to be a door. I don't have any doors on me. Alright, my stuff is up above. Why did I come down? Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't want to chop any of these beautiful palm trees on my street. So I was up in... Oh, wow, there, there's so many floors when you're in there, but it uh, looks like there's only one, two, three, four floors when you're out here. Oh, okay. Oh, that is the entrance to my building. Okay, good. So that is that is the entrance to my building. Well, I'm not going to... Oh, I'll chop this tree over here. This is a good tree to chop. Man, look at this lag. These guys aren't even moving. Hmm. I don't know what that's about. I don't have any glass to trap them in there. They're behind a wall anyway. I kind of want to take this tree down, although... Let's not take down any trees from my street. Let's go take down a tree from around the corner. <sighs> well... I'll have to decide if we're going to clear all this. Uh, I actually don't think I'm going to clear the water. I think I'm going to leave the street flooded. I might make some like bridges and stuff. I don't know. Why not? We can take a tree from over here. Keeping my head on a swivel. Swivel head. And then I could get some dirt and grow my own tree, too. I do have sapling. Okay. Possibly now I've fixed those data packs. Oh, yeah. It worked. It took out the whole chunk. Excellent, dudes. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. We'll leave this torch here. All right, we've got enough wood, right? 20 logs. Let's get back to my homie, Arsmalik. We definitely have some lag going on, but we're gonna clear these beautiful windows. I think we're gonna replace a lot of this at some point. At some point. We'll do every two will be a torch. How about that? I don't think I need the torches for mob protection. These are more aesthetic torches. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice in here. Okay. We don't wanna know what's down there too much. I keep thinking I keep thinking I left my stuff on the ground floor, but I didn't. I left it up top. So gosh, this feels like a trap down here. This just feels like a trap to me. Oh, sewers. Ooh. Some point. At some point. Alright. I'm good with this. There's my bed. There's my chicky. So then my apartment doesn't have a room on this side. The one below does. It has this doorway and then it has a whole apartment on that side, which is, let's assume something like this. 
Okay, so their roof is here. My roof oh is up here. Yeah, I can make a little rooftop thingy. This is pretty nice. I like it. I can make a little rooftop thingy. You can see I am in the process of renovating the top floor, literally just ripping it apart and preparing to uh, dig down through this floor, which is about five blocks deep. And I want to make a big open room from this floor up to there. And then this whole wall here is all going to be glass. So I have a really cool corner view. But before I can do that, I need to go and visit some neighbors and trade for some shears so I can also clear the vines off the roof. So many cars here. I've got 25, 26 yellow panes and 24 red panes for you so far. Perfect. I had four. I was like, I don't know, that doesn't seem like very much. I, I have not found any iron yet. Really? No. We um we found iron nuggets around and then well I started a strip mine because <laughs> I'm like, well, I it's gonna be hard to find iron otherwise. And I know the volcano, they the thing said that that's a good place to look okay. for ores, but I'm like, that's a bit of a trek from where we are. So I'm like, we're just gonna strip mine. And at first I was worried because I kept digging, like I started my strip mine, I'm like all I'm getting is stone just digging my way down. Eventually, I hit coal and iron and stuff. I'm like, okay, so there is still some normal generation going on. Okay. But, yeah, strip mining was how we got our iron for the most part, other than the nuggets we found here and there. Well, I am coming towards your place. I can see the sandstone house. Is that Wait, yours? I see you coming down the block. Yep. Sandstone and brick. Yep, I see you coming down the block. Oh, the hold on. I'm gonna have to come let you in. <laughs> <laughs> I could just hop over. <laughs> <Not too. laughs> hop on over. <laughs> yeah, we uh we kind of sealed off areas because we were trying to keep the husks away. <laughs> gotcha. Well, yeah, the spawners were pretty stupid. So, and also they had mobs spawning off, so no natural spawns were happening. I turned that back on. That'll be interesting. Hello. Ew, welcome to the Sandy Hovel. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome to our little place. This is what we've been working on. Come on in. So you see the building to the, uh, I think, east. On the uh, right. I'm on uh, the other corner, the far okay. corner that's just out of sight. Gotcha, gotcha. And You're box the is continue that way past me, but a little bit to... Uh, south. Gotcha, gotcha. I believe. I cool, think. then we're all kind of along this way, because if you keep going that way as well, you'll hit Steto at some point. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, it's kind of funny that we're all in this back-flooded section, or most of us. I think just because it was easier to fight off the mobs because they can't move fast in water, just like we can't, so... Uh. It kind of acted act like barrier. Plus, I think I was thinking that normal mob spawning was on. So I'm like, water, they can't spawn there. Mm -hmm. So it's well, also here, the least amount of mobs. Oh, I have orange glass, too. Here's some glass panes. Ooh. I'm trying to clear all the... Um, oh, awesome. Did you find these or make these? Made them. Oh, like wow. I said, I've been strip mining, so... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to clear the vines off of my roof, but I want to uh, I want to move them. And yeah, I don't have uh, I don't have any way to get leaves yet. Gotcha, gotcha. I got birch saplings. 
I found some birch trees and I made sure to cut those down. <laughs> Ooh, do you have like a spare one spare birch sapling? I should. Let me double check. Uh, saplings, saplings. Yes, I do. Oh wow, yeah, you have enough sugar shulker boxes <laughs> yeah we, that's the, and then we have some in here and then i'm sorting some that are over here and yeah. oh wow that, i was i was laughing because i was what oh awesome 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 i was watching steto fire play his stream and then he's like oh i'm taking all the stuff and before other people can get to it i'm just like eh, it's not gonna be a problem <laughs> no yeah <laughs> I also found, I have three dark oak saplings. I need one more <laughs> to get a tree. So this works, putting a, a shulker above a mm -hmm. hopper? Oh. Yeah, it works. And it actually goes into the shulker as well. So it works. Oh, okay. Yeah, then you really don't need chests, I guess. I like the look of this house with the glass. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, I'm going to steal a loom. <laughs> Go for it. There's like There's so many of them around here. So many rooms. I haven't seen one of these yet. <laughs> oh, there was a, that was what the the lever is attached to in my house. Oh. <laughs> Just looms everywhere. There's note blocks everywhere. There's looms everywhere. There's <laughs> oh, <laughs> enough I... furnaces and hoppers. We just keep stealing hoppers because those are expensive. <laughs> so I ha yeah, I haven't looted it much yet. I'm I'm going to actually just rip out a bunch of walls in my apartment building because I want my floors to be, like, taller. All right. So <laughs> I did the renovation off camera because um, I had a lot of background noise and I was just enjoying playing. I had some fun interactions with Box in some of these, clearing out some of these buildings back off this way. I hope he filmed it because there's a couple points where, I don't know, I feel like I just looked really good. <laughs> uh, I had a couple interactions with Kaylin and Kamsai who live uh, down this block. You can see the corner of their property right over here, so very close. Uh, Steto has been on. He's somewhere off that way. I don't think I've seen him in person. But I have seen his um, white concrete trails around in the water. Um, yeah, so I basically I basically took out the floor between these two levels and cleaned up all the decayed brick, etc. Um, I was goofing around with this stairway here, kind of making an open spot with a plant ledge up here. Uh, and then I'll probably put something up here, but my place is down there. I actually converted this bathroom to a bedroom. Uh, it was below my cursor, and then I've started kind of specking out the, the, the rooftop where we've got a great view of uh, the city. We've got some crops growing. Oh, hello, Skello. Um, so yeah, I basically been working on that and this map <laughs> survived Komodo Island by, I think you pronounce it Iavis XP kind of looks like Elvis. Uh, sorry, by the way, I have not cleared out the adjoining apartment here, or maybe this is part of my apartment. I don't know. That's the kitchen and this is the temporary staging area for boxes. I don't really know what to do. Um, so anyway, in this map, uh, the, the, the map maker has put these spawners in, which have a 200 range, 200 block range to spawn. Now, normally, if you don't know, a normal Minecraft um, uh, vanilla spawner is a range of about, I think it's 16 blocks. So if you're within 16 blocks or something like that or 20, it'll start spawning. If you're beyond that, it won't spawn. It'll just sit there and wait until you get close enough, which is really nice. Now, this map, the custom spawners that were created detect people up to 200 blocks away. I'm going to go ahead and sleep just to make it day. 
They detect people up to 200 blocks away. My bedroom was very boring. And when they do so, a normal spawner will put out four mobs. And I believe it's something like if there are uh, four to 60, I can't remember the numbers. Anyway, it's something like if there's four mobs close to the spawner, it won't spawn more. These spawners in this map will will allow up to 40 mobs to spawn in the same place. Which, why am I... Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, why am I doing this? I've got a quicker way down. Uh, so you can... So first of all, mobs start spawning farther away. Second of all, there's many more mobs. And then... Um, they they put in a ton of spawners. So some of these buildings, if you enter them, you're basically dead because the building is just completely full. I also found command blocks under the spawners, which create new spawners. So I opened up this world in an editing tool with the express purpose of just getting rid of all these spawners because they were just ridiculous. And by... Okay, also... Well, let me give you some more data here. Mob default generic mob spawning was off, so you only got the mobs from the spawners. You did not get any creepers, skeletons, etc. You only got you only got zombies and husks, which I thought was kind of boring. Not boring per se, but blah. And now, again, another and. Um, so, yeah, mob spawning was off. And um, I think they made persistent mobs, meaning they don't despawn when they're far away. So, like, as I'm in this building here, that building across the way would completely full up, for example, with mobs that don't go away. And that just lagged the heck out of the server. Uh, plus, we weren't getting any... You know, we were just getting zombies, as I said. I'm starting to repeat myself. Uh, so it was kind of boring. So anyway, I am... Uh, I think I've... Well, I thought I had fixed it by removing all the... All those spawners. But then I found command blocks that recreate spawners. Which is even more ridiculous. So you can hear... For example, right now, there seems to be a lot of zombies somewhere. And I've pretty much gone through enough of these buildings to know, see like this, you're going to have a huge swarm of zombies coming, which is kind of cool and cinematic, but at the same time, it gets a little bit old. And it starts to lag the server. So that means there's a spawner up there that somehow did not get taken out. And I cannot humanly pop... Look at this. I cannot possibly kill enough zombies to get past them at that rate. Just look at how many are... Oh, sugars. Oh, boy. And then this happens. <laughs>